Hi there, this is Jacob Alder with Moto Gadget, and you are watching the first video of a series of videos showing you the complete installation of the Moto Gadget Mo Unit Blue and many of its accessories. In this series, our goal is to create a guide that is so detailed it leaves you with very few questions, if any, surrounding the Moto Gadget product line and the installation of said products. To do this, we are going to start the video series early. And what I mean by that is in this video, we are not going to be wiring up the Moto Gadget Mo Unit Blue. What we're gonna do is try to answer a few frequently asked questions and then help you shop for the right part parts to be able to have this be as successful as possible when everything arrives. But what that means is not only ordering Moto Gadget parts like the Mo Unit Blue and the accessories that go along with it, but also supporting products that you might not have thought of until you go to install this and realize you should have shopped for a couple more things. So today, get out your notepads, this is going to be a shopping list. Now first, let me show you what we're building and how we're going to build it. This is a complete 1981 BMW R65. German made parts from a German brand, felt like it made sense to pull out the German bike for the upgrade. To cover our bases, we're going to first install the Moto Gadget system on this bike as it sits, like how many of you will with a currently running motorcycle. Then I'm rebuilding the bike. Nothing too crazy, but a nice clean custom build that looks sharp, runs great, and will last for a very long time. And when that comes around, I'll show you all how to reinstall it all again for those of you who currently have a motorcycle that is a torn apart basket case with really no solid reference point for the wiring of the motorcycle. Essentially, we're first going to install the Mo Unit Blue and all of its accessories as if we're replacing a bunch of wiring and stuff on the motorcycle. Then we're gonna do it again as if you're building a motorcycle from the ground up. Those two ways of doing it have different and unique challenges, so we want to show you both. Now, it should go without saying, but unless you also have a 1981 BMW R65, I can't promise that everything we do here is going to line up one-to-one -one with what you're going to be doing. But as long as I explain myself well and you know your motorcycle well, I think we're going to stay clear of any communication issues. So what is a Moto Gadget Mo Unit Blue and why should you consider one? The Moto Gadget Mo Unit Blue is a compact Bluetooth-enabled digital control unit that replaces a motorcycle's fuse box and relays, simplifies wiring and enabling smart features like keyless ignition and mobile diagnostics. That is probably the most efficient sentence I can think of to help you understand what this unit is. Now let's talk about why you should consider one and to do that I'm going to mention why other people have often switched. Firstly, some motorcyclists switch because they just can't trust their 30, 40, 50 year old motorcycles electronics anymore. Maybe some electronics are already starting to break down or just not be as reliable or accurate anymore and you just can't trust those stiff wires and loose bullet connectors anymore so it's time to upgrade. Others are in it just for the upgrades. The keyless go alarm system, vehicle management. These are things that just did not come from factory on your 50 year old motorcycle and often don't come on motorcycles even at the dealership today. Then there's also a large group of motorcyclists that are just starting from zero. They're not starting with a full bike like this. There's no wiring harness in it and it's just they've got to build it from scratch and they just want to do it with something that is modern, reliable and with a ton of support. One from Moto Gadget but two just from the general public of all the motorcyclists who have installed this unit and are going to help you out on the forums. So for whatever reason you have decided to upgrade to a Moto Gadget Mo Unit Blue. Let's get to the fun part and let's start shopping. First off, you need the Mo Unit. This is the heart, the brains, however you want to think about it, but all wiring leads to the Mo Unit. You got to grab one of those. Then you need to be able to communicate with the unit and tell it what to do, and that'll happen through switches. Now, when you go shopping for switches, here's what I would do. Take a look at your current controls and the switches on each side. Here on the right side, I have uh, the kill switch and I have the starter button. Now, on the Mo Unit Blue, you can actually combine these and have a kill and start switch all in one. So that's one button that you'll need on this side. Secondly, uh, this does not, this motorcycle does not have a headlight switch. I want to add one. And so I am going to add a uh, headlight switch. So that is gonna be two switches. So for me, on the right side, I'd be looking for a set of switches from Moto Gadget that just has one and two. Now on the left side, I have a horn button, I have a high beam button, and I have my turn signals. So that's gonna be a left and right turn signal, that's gonna be a horn, and that's going to potentially be a high beam. But in short, I'm gonna have that button that does the headlight also act as high beam. So on that side, I need three. I need the horn, and I need left and right turn signals. Now one more button to keep in mind is that if you get a Moto Gadget gauge, which you should, you're going to need one more button for that. Now you can integrate that and maybe instead of having two buttons here, I'll have three and the third will act for the gauge so I can press through all the features. Or you can just have one little button that you order on the side and place that wherever you want. That's what I'm going to be doing for this model here is that I just want the gauge button to kind of mount closer to the gauge, but it's really, really commonly mounted on these handlebars. Then you will want the unit to communicate with you, and that will be through a gauge. If for your motorcycle build, you just want something super small, compact, and you'd wish you just didn't even have to have a gauge, something like the Motoscope Mini would be the way to go. But if you're wanting all the features, 
It's kind of my two favorite options are either gonna be the Motoscope Pro for something that's really uh, modern, or the Motoscope Chrono Classic 2 for something that's a little more classic and vintage. In this series, I'm gonna show you how to install both the Motoscope Pro and the Chrono Classic 2 though. Now, as a basic foundation, this is really all you need. You need the Moto Gadget Mo Unit Blue, then you need these switches so that you can communicate with it, and you need the gauge so that it can communicate with you. Now, back to shopping. From there, I would just continue to scroll on the website and see if you want to upgrade other parts for your motorcycles, like the mirrors or the turn signals, or if you want to keep enhancing the capabilities of your Mo Unit Blue, like looking at the Mo Pressure if you want tire pressure monitoring, or the Mo Lock if you want a keyless, like NFC style ignition. There's tons of good stuff on there. I would just kind of open every page and scroll through and check it out. And by the way, in the future videos, I will go over the exact parts that I got for this BMW, and you'll see that some of those parts might not be found on .us, but can be found on the .com site, and that's totally fine for you to order there. Now, let's talk about supporting parts, and this is important because it may not be from Moto Gadget's website. It may be other things that you haven't considered. Now, what I'm really talking about is your controls. Take a look at this. If we're replacing these two switches here, right, these are going to come off. Look what comes along with it. We're going to be losing our brake lever that's attached to this whole unit. We're going to lose our throttle assembly. We're going to lose our master cylinder, our brake reservoir, and the mirror. It's all connected to this switch right here. So when we replace these switches, we have to find the supporting parts to go along with it. That means you're going to need a throttle assembly, you're going to need a master cylinder, a new brake fluid reservoir, and a new location for your mirror. Thankfully, Moto Gadget makes some awesome mirrors, so we're not going to be putting them back on here anyways. On the left side, attached to the controls, is we have the clutch lever, and we have the carburetor choke lever. So for those two things, you might as well take it as a sign to upgrade. For what it's worth, on this bike, we're going to upgrade to a Brembo master cylinder, a Domino throttle assembly, an Akasoto clutch lever, and then for the carb chokes, we're moving those onto the carb bodies themselves, so that it's not going to have to be up on the handlebars anymore. In short, take a look at your switches, see what else is attached to them, and realize that when you take these switches off, what is going to go with it, and you're going to want to replace those parts, and again, take it as a sign to upgrade. Wow, you have a lot of shopping to do. I'm going to leave you to it and start filming the next video. Next time we meet, I'm going to show you the basic strategies to understand your current motorcycle's wiring system so that you can kind of get in there and swap it out for the Mo Unit Blue, and also the kind of tools and skills you may need to install everything really cleanly. If you already have all your parts and you're ready to jump ahead, don't forget that Moto Gadget has all the instruction manuals for their products online, so you can check that out on their site. Also, Moto Gadget is on Instagram and TikTok posting faster, quicker, more frequent, digestible content surrounding the products, the installation tips and tricks, as well as photos that'll help inspire you in your build. You can check that out. Otherwise, this has been Jacob Aldry with Moto Gadget, and I will see you in the next video.